What is going on guys? Work done right here. And today, I'm finally bringing you another commentary. Um, I, you know, I've been releasing Zombies Live comms, uh, Road to Commander. Actually, I haven't posted an RTC in a, in a while. You know, I think my last video was actually Black Ops 2 one month later. So I guess that was a regular commentary. But today I'm bringing you another one. And, uh, t you know, since it's close to Christmas and it's the holidays, I figured that I would bring someone on here that could kind of give you guys uh, some insight on, on, you know, list ideas. Maybe you don't know what you want for Christmas, so uh, he's going to help you out here. So, before we get to that, though, before I do introductions, uh, this, real quick, is a 48 and 16 gameplay I got on the map hijacked using the Scorpion Evo primarily. Um... Not the greatest score. I, I know that. 48 and 16 is definitely not the greatest score. But, you know, it's special to me because this is the game that I got my very first swarm in. My very first, you know, hunter killer swarm, the thing, the hundred thousand things that fly in the air and phew, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> That was really weird. I'm gonna never do that again, but that's what it is. It's, it's my gameplay with my very first swarm. So it's such a special gameplay, such a special time of year. I figured I'd bring back an old favorite for some of you old subscribers. So, uh, Vladimir, why don't you say hello? Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm very happy that Worked on Right has brought me back on his channel. And uh, it should be a very good time. I'm looking forward to this dual commentary. All right, so glad to have you on, man. Uh, it's been an honor, you know, kind of talking to you. Well, not really, because I've known you for a while. I don't really know why it would be an honor. Uh, maybe because you sound so much like FPS Russia, sometimes I get confused. Oh, thank you very much. You know, it is just natural accents. It is nothing very special. Okay, so now that that's uh, now that that's out of the way, you know, we got introductions out of the way. Let's get to the main purpose of the video, and that purpose would be holiday list ideas. All of you, I'm sure, you have holiday list ideas. You have things that you want for Christmas, for Kwanzaa, for Hanukkah. All the different holidays, but you just don't know what you want. And I understand, I believe Hanukkah is passed already, but you know, maybe you celebrate Christmas or something. So, here I am today to tell you guys some of the list ideas that I have come up with. So, I'm gonna lay them down on you right now. Very first idea you must get kick ass video game. It doesn't matter what it is, it has to be uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Far Cry 3, Borderlands 2, Black Ops 2. You have all these video games that you could get for Christmas and uh, it will be fun because you will, you know, maybe you get it for Christmas and you have party over. Maybe you should get new Guitar Hero. Oh, wait, that series died about two years ago. Uh, maybe you could get something that will be party game. Black Ops 2, perfect, perfect game for party. Uh, you know, you get you and four other uh, family members or friends and you play zombies with them. Zombies is always fun time. So. You get kick-ass video game. That is my very first recommendation that you get for Christmas. Okay, so kick-ass video game, you know, like he said, Assassin's Creed 3, Far Cry 3, Borderlands 2, Black Ops 2. There's a lot of kick-ass video games that are out right now. And, you know, there's a couple of them, like I know Walking Dead won Game of the Year, which is awesome. Uh, personally, I've never played it, but I do watch the TV show, so I've been meaning to watch a playthrough of the game and see what it's like, but I've heard that it's amazing. So if you want to get The Walking Dead, which is a uh, it's a game that's in the PlayStation Store and on the Xbox Live Arcade that you can you know download and play, it's pretty nice. So you got all these kick-ass games that you can download. It should be very nice. So uh, what do you have next, Vladimir? Well, what's your next uh, kind of recommendation to get to get for the holidays? Okay, my next recommendation is definitely the uh, the iPhone 5. This is Apple's new phone. So if you uh, if you have the money, you can get the iPhone 5. Very good phone. I have it personally, so I would definitely recommend that. Okay, uh, iPhone 5. Uh, ho ho, hold the fuck up here. iPhone 5 is a very expensive phone. So if you don't have the money for it, what, what do you recommend for them? I mean, maybe they need a phone this Christmas, but they don't have the money to get the iPhone 5. What, what do you recommend for them? Well. They could get kind of less expensive smartphone. You could get iPhone 4. That would actually be a good recommendation. A lot shittier than the iPhone 5, but still a good phone. So, uh, that costs probably around $100 if I had to recommend. So, the iPhone 4 would definitely be a good choice if you do not have money. Or, you could get shitty-ass bitch flip phone. 
that will also be good decision too. It is up to you if you want a new phone this Christmas though. I would dec uh, I would definitely recommend going with smartphone. Okay, so smartphone. Uh, yeah, personally, I have an iPhone 4S, and it's pretty nice. You could probably get these for around $100. Um, iPhone 4 is probably $100. I don't know. But uh, iPhone 4S's are pretty good. iPhone 4's are pretty good. iPhone 5, obviously the best one out there as of yet. But, you know, if it's too expensive for you, you don't really have to get that. All right, so what's next on your agenda, Vladimir? What, what do you got next to, to tell everyone? Okay. So the next item is going to be cologne. A lot of people need cologne, okay? And here's why. There are lots of people out there that do not shower, which is fucking retarded. Why the fuck do you not shower every day before you go to place like school that is filled with many people that will obviously make judgments on you? You need to make good impression, you need to shower. Wow, sounds like you feel very strongly about this. Are there any people that that you just kind of base this off of? Oh, absolutely. There is this one kid in one of my classes. Oh, my God. First of all, biggest buzz kill in the world. I am telling you, this kid is fucking ridiculous with the amount of buzz kill that he provides to the world. Secondly, kid smells like absolute shit. It seems like he just purposely does not shower every day. Every time I go near him, I want to faint because he smells like pure dog shit. It is ridiculous. I, I just do not like the kid overall. He is weird. He is buzzkill. He is smelling shitty. I don't know what to think, but it's pretty fucked up. Okay, so... Wow, uh, I guess there, there must be one kid that... That you just really don't like. Is he really that much of a buzzkill? Oh, absolutely. I could go on and tell stories about this man all day. <laughs> all day long, I could tell stories about this kid and how he is buzzkill to everybody. Okay, so I guess we should move on though because this topic is about holiday ideas and not kids being buzzkills. So, do you have a, a last. You know, a last idea or recommendation, maybe for somebody special in their life, maybe a family member or something like that? Oh yes, absolutely. I get I get this idea because one of my good buddies, Savis Romo, posted video the other day talking about holiday list ideas for the woman in your life. So I figured I would give my own idea for the woman in your life. And when he talks about woman in your life, he gives variety of ideas, such as mom, such as grandmother, such as everything else girlfriend mine is for girlfriend okay you get your girlfriend dick in the box you go to her on Christmas Day with your dick in a present she opens the present and not only is she happy because she gets penis to stroke but you get a blowy or a hand job how is that not one of the coolest things ever that is perfect idea for your girlfriend. Go ahead and get your girlfriend dick in a box. If you don't know what it is, look up the song by Andy Samberg and Justin Timberlake. I'm sure it will help you out very much. Okay, and that's all the ideas that he has supplied us. That's all we have time for, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And you got any last words, man? Absolutely. I hope you all have a nice holiday season and have a nice day. All right, guys. See you later. Peace.